One transcription factor of the nuclear receptor group, known as DAX1, can also result in sex reversal. Apparently, it has different roles in development and even in testis development, but one important aspect of its role is it can antagonize WT1 and SF1 in the formation of testes, so that an overexpression of DAX1 will then result in XY individuals developing as females. Also, the WINT4 gene, uh, which upregulates the transcription of DAX, can also therefore cause sex reversal. If the bipotential gonad is not signaled by SRY and SOX9 to develop into a testis, it develops into an ovary by default. So ovarian development is, in many senses, the default programming of this gonad. There are additional genes required for ovarian fertility, and mutations in genes such as FOXL2 will cause infertility. Mutations in the gene RSPO1, which is required for ovarian fertility, may actually result in sex reversal where XX individuals will develop as males or as true hermaphrodites, even in the absence of a Y chromosome or an SRY gene. In conclusion, after chromosomal gender has been determined, there is still the activation of the transcription factors which convert the bipotential gonad either into an ovary or a testis in gonadal gender. There are a number of genes involved in this process, and mutations in many of these genes are capable of changing the chromosomal gender and causing either XY sex reversal, where XY individuals develop as females, or even XX sex reversal, where XX individuals develop as males.